we got to continue the winning streak. Um, you know, we, we lost against Inter, and now we've won every match since then. We need to continue going with that. And I, I think that we have a very good opportunity to win the next three matches as long as they come out and they, and they do what they've done all year and just take it to their opposition when they're playing. I mean, they're playing uh, Spezia, Cremonese, and Sassuolo next in the league. And those three matches, I, I think that if they approach it right, they should destroy each of them. And the first one is Spezia this Sunday on the road. I am going to that match. I just got my train ticket. Uh, nice. And I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to get a ticket to sit somewhere in the tribuna. I've heard that I need to be a little bit careful with that match because yes. the fans there don't really like Napolitani. So I'm that gonna tasty. have to go in incognito. I'm gonna have to go in incognito, but um I'm looking forward to seeing a new stadium and uh I'm looking forward to seeing Napoli continue their, their winning streak. The one thing that uh that I think we should be paying attention to in that match is Kim is on his fourth card yellow card still, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> My feeling about this is we don't want to not have Kim for, say, Lazio, Atlanta, because they're coming up at the beginning of March. Um, yeah. We got a Champions League game coming up in Germany against Frankfurt. Um, the yellow card means nothing for the Champions League game, right? But right. I, I don't want Kim to, to get out of a rhythm. Yeah, I was hoping, yeah. like, he would get his yellow card in this game against Roma. Against Roma. His last yeah, game, so that... Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he could be out of this game and then build up the momentum again. So I don't know, man. If I was in Spalletti's shoes, I'd be like, hey, hey, Kim, go go ahead and get your yellow now, bro. You know what I mean? So that you can just miss this next game and then get that rhythm headed up to the uh, the Champions League game and then lots in Atlanta. But, uh, yeah, he's going to yeah. get his yellow card pretty soon probably, and then he's going to miss a match. Um, Maybe. What do you – do you think that – I mean, what do you think about that? Do you think that he should just try to – to do the norm and not not get a yellow card on purpose, but do you do you think that's a good strategy? I mean, what do you think? Thirteen, we're up thirteen points. I am not worried about a defender missing a game, no matter what the game is. We can literally afford to lose four games and get a tie right now. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not really worried about it. If this was like like a closer Scudetto race, yeah, I'd be like, okay, yeah. let, let's strategize Kim getting this yellow. But right now, honestly. I wouldn't even be stressing it. If he's not there for Lazio, so be it. Lazio are a great team. Atalanta are a great team. We know their attacking capabilities, but we are Napoli. I'm not really worried about it, you know. Um, whatever happens, happens. But, yeah, I feel you. If, I feel if, you. if they really wanted to, definitely do it in the next two games. That would be smart, you know, wink, wink. But I don't know. We'll just see what they do. Kim doesn't seem like that type of guy to go out there and do it on purpose. So I got you. I got you. And what about um, – do you think that Spalletti should be looking at trying to, I don't know, rest a player or two? Do you think that – they're going to get a whole week's rest. They don't have any game in midweek, you know, but um, I don't know. What do you think? Should they rest any like, players or should he – I feel like all men won't get rest just because of his uh, goal race situation. You know, he definitely wants to keep that going, and he can get that going easily against teams of this stature, you know, the lower to mid-table teams. I can see Cavada getting some rest just because it's Cavada. You know, he also plays a lot of minutes every game that he plays, usually. Uh, obviously, he's been a bit out of form more recent times, but he's been getting better and better each and every game. Um, I can see Daspatori coming in for Cavada on, on the left or even coming in later in the game for Osiman, maybe up top, or Cholito, of course. You know, we we have an insane depth at, at, at or in our bench, sorry. Um, shoot, I can see... Aussie guard maybe starting a game or two, you know, for, for Rachmani. But I feel like Rachmani needs to get back in his rhythm still. So I don't see him taking his spot. But Kim, you know, with his yellow card coming up, who knows? So I wouldn't I mean, doubt that he switched it up. You know, for me, so not like it was close to this part of the season last year mm. when Di Lorenzo got injured. And we picked up this, this guy I like to call BB. I'm not going to try to say his name without looking it up right now. Huh. And, I mean, I'm just going to say it, man. I think Di Lorenzo needs to get an actual game off. This game, the game after that, you know, one of these three games coming up where we're not playing a, an amazing opposition, we're, we're playing like the bottom half 
teams in Spezia, Sassuolo, and Cremonese, right? Yeah. Give Di Lorenzo a night off, man. Give give Mario Rui the armband. Let him take a night off yeah. and just get like a real rest. I would like to see that with yeah. Di Lorenzo either in this match or one of the next three matches. Like a full 90 minutes off, man. Because I felt like he got burnt out last year. And if we're missing Di Lorenzo for four or five matches, that could be two or three losses, man. Because Di Lorenzo nah. is is no, I'm telling you, Di Lorenzo is extremely important to the chemistry on that back line. I I, I want him to get some rest. He won't. Uh, we'll see. They won't. Bench yeah, I know he won't. I know he won't. Yeah. I know he won't. But I want him to get some rest. You know, I mean, in a way, I, I hate to say it, but maybe he can get like a little tiny knock or something so he can get some rest and come back in the next game. I don't know, man. Nah. I, I want him to get some rest. He, he Number one, he deserves it. He deserves to take a night off. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. Yep. But um, I, he's the only player that I would I would like to see take a night off over the next three games. I, I really want like to see that. Politano can too. Oh, Politano can cannot play again rest. for a while, in, in, in my rest. opinion. I mean, mm -hmm. Politano can be an 85th minute guy right now. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, I, I would, I would rather have Chucky or Elmas play the white ring right now. Yes, Elmas, if it's not Politano, you know, or you know, yeah. for for subbing in, uh, I don't want to see Politano out there. So, what do you think about the uh, this match when it comes to the the result, man? I mean, obviously, we we both know they're gonna win. But how do you think the actual scoreline is going to turn out? Well, uh, last episode, me, you, and Oma all said 2-1 against Roma, and that came true. So that's good for that. And you also were, were very close the other episode as well against um, – who do we play? It wasn't Cremonese. No, it's the Juve match. I, I think I I think I said 3-1 for you did the say Juve match. Okay. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, 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 I really four, felt strong – Yeah, I, I really felt strongly that – that Juve was going to get dominated, but yeah, I didn't think it was going to end 5 1. 5 1. <laughs> but, yeah. Still dominated. Yeah. <laughs> you, you right I didn't think we were going to dominate like that, but yeah. Uh, but against Spezia, I can see um, maybe like a 3 0, 3 1 scoreline. I, I can see Spezia getting some some lucky goal as well. You know, they, they tend to, to give us trouble sometimes. You know, how our relationship against or with them is um, not the best with the fans or with the players. You know, we've had experiences in their stadium where there have been racist comments and chants made towards our players, specifically Koulibaly back then. Uh, I really don't want to get into that too much just because I can't stand racism. But, um, yeah, uh, I hope we crush them like 5-0, but that probably won't happen. But I would say about 3-1, 3-0. I hear you. Um, I I'm saying 3-0, man. I, I, think our, I think our back line needs to have a really good game and get a clean sheet mm -hmm. just to, you know, to build that confidence. So yeah. I think the game's going to end 3-0. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's going to end 3-0. I, I think Napoli is going to absolutely dominate the match in every phase of the game. And I do think Spalletti is going to play most of his regulars, which is going to help with their domination of the match. But I think they're going to go up by one or two goals very quickly. And I think they'll score another goal sometime in the, the beginning of the second half. And then Spalletti will be able to actually get some players some real good rest, bringing in some subs in the 60, 65th minute. That's what I would like, and, and I think that that is about what's going to happen. I, I think the goals, I think Victor's going to score again. I mean, he might as well just score every fucking match because – Might as well bet that, that money every game is going to score, honestly. He, he's, he, I mean, he's just that good. So I think he will score again. <laughs> and other than that, I really don't know who I think will score. So I'll just throw out Chucky. Maybe Chucky will get a goal in this game. I think he's – I think he's due to get another start, like two starts in a row to build a rhythm. I think Spalletti might be noticing that that's important. And then yep. maybe we'll get somebody out of the ordinary to score a goal like Lobotka. Who do you think is going to score besides Victor, of course? I got Osimhen okay. scoring one, maybe even two. Who knows? We didn't. We can't count that out. He might even get three for all we know, or four or five. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I also had uh, Chucky. Probably getting one. I can see him scoring a little iconic Lozano goal. You know, him cutting down on the right side and then cutting it left or right, you know, depending where he plays. Uh, and he cuts in and then just shoots it on the bottom left or bottom right side of the of the post. I can see him doing one of that against uh, the Spezia defense. Um, honestly, 
I see Ossie been scoring two goals, and I and I said three one three zero. I I I, I okay. see him scoring a, a brace this game. I I really do. Yeah, if he scores a brace, he's he's he 16. has a chance to really st- he has a chance to really start pulling away in the uh, Capo Cañete too. So that would I be think nice he still is right now. Look, and all, all with all due respect, like Lookman is is awesome, you know, but. Osimhen is just that guy. He's he's the it factor on our on our team. Uh, Atalanta have a whole bunch of those. With all due respect, you know, it's just the only thing you got to remember about Lukman is he's our penalty taker too, man. So true. If That's he gets the a only way that I see him there. getting close. But he still yeah. wouldn't pass him. And we need to start getting Osimhen on, on those penalties. I don't care anymore. I saw his form against Cremonese. It looked fine to me. I don't know what they're seeing in in the practice. So they need to fix that for sure. Still, well, we're gonna see who's the next penalty kick taker whenever that that happens. Maybe. I'm curious. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get a penalty kick kick in in this game, man. It's possible. Maybe, and I want to see who who it is. It better not be if Politano starts. I swear, it better not be no Politano, man. I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah, me too. All right. Well, um, so enough about that match. Let's uh let's talk about something a, a little bit different. Um, something that I've like started to think about, and it's the way that I want to just um imagine when Napoli is going to clinch the Scudetto because mm-hmm. Na- Napoli is going to win the Scudetto, right? Looking I to be think soft. that, um, I-, I think anybody that says that they're not going to at this point is in, in denial. denial, whether, whether they're a Napoli fan or not, you know what I mean? There's yeah. even Napoli fans that still don't want to just say those words. You know they what just I mean? don't want to jinx but, it. That's all. That's why they yeah, know that you know, we're up. We're up there. So this is what I'm doing, man. I'm doing a, a magic number thing. So this is this is something in the in the states where when people get to a certain point where they need to have so many wins in order to say get a one seed or in order to to make the playoffs or or to get to a you know a, a certain position in the standings or whatever towards the end of the season. But anyway, um, right now it's it's magic number fourteen and. I printed out all the games, right? I don't know if you can see that or not, but I printed out all the games that are left, starting with the Roma game, and I'm counting them down. So we're on magic number 14, which means we need 14 victories to clinch. But it's going to happen earlier than that Mm, because other other teams are going to drop points. win all the games in a row. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, the first time that we drop two magic numbers, oh, that's going to feel good. Because that's going to happen sooner or later. It's going to yeah. happen where we, we're at 14 and we get to 12 after one weekend of matches. You know what I mean? So yeah. I can't wait for that moment when we drop two numbers for that magic number. And, um, you know, we've got, let me mention it earlier, we got two games coming up in the beginning mm-hmm. of March with Lazio and Atalanta, yep. both at home. Both at home. So, you know, Inter and Milan are playing this weekend in their derby. So, I mean, this might be the weekend where the magic number drops twice, drops two numbers, man. But Inter's going to win that game for sure. Inter's going to win? You got Inter winning that game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Milan are in a complete pit of fire right now. Do you think Pioli? It, Pioli is um. Do you think he's at risk right now, losing his of uh, getting sacked? No. Man, they had a situation no. like this uh, two seasons ago where they weren't really like performing to their standards. Um, but no, this hasn't before. He's had like a like a losing streak like this before. Maybe not to this measure or this the, this degree, I guess you could say. Because I mean, five two against Sassuolo and then three zero against Inter back to back games, eight goals conceding, losing like that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. And then 4-0 against Lazio. I almost forgot that. Hot damn. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're playing really bad. Like they're yeah. they don't even look like they won it on the pitch. You know what I mean? Like I watched mm-hmm. this last game against Sassuolo. Ever since we watched that, tell, that, that that Roma game, right? They've been on like a weird, weird losing streak. I think the club is at least thinking about the POD situation. I think I mean, he needs yeah. to. Yeah. I think they need to recover. You know, and then did you see the uh, the stuff going on with Leo? So there's like been a lot of these rumors about Leo trying yeah, to push his way no. out of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, and then something came out saying 
Yeah, something came out saying that um, from like his lawyer, I think that all the stuff was like false and none of that's really true. And yeah, I think yeah. the club backed that up too, saying none of it's true. But mm -hmm. oh man, I, if 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 Milan drops out of the top four and they actually don't qualify for Champions League, layout gone. There's no yeah, way so too. that yeah, he's yeah. going to stay. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's he's way too talented not to be playing in the Champions League. Facts.